we need to talk about toxic masculinity. So a lot of the time when women post things about rapes and murders that have been perpetrated by men upon women, um, somebody somewhere has to put the hashtag or make the comment, not all men. Well, yeah, we know not all men, right? Obviously not all men are rapists and murderers and all the rest of it. Um, but the thing is, rapists and murderers don't actually wear a little flashing neon sign on their forehead that says, I am a rapist or I am a murderer. So a certain amount of caution is required on our part um, in trusting men. And that is very sad. And it's not that we go around like, you know, carefully watching all men for signs of incipient um, violence, but it does mean that we're not going to unequivocally trust you um, on site, you know. Um, I don't spend all my time worrying and thinking about this, but I can't give my unequivocal trust um, straight away. It's not, it just wouldn't be clever, it wouldn't be right. Um, you know, this is why when women go on a date, they give their phone number to a friend and tell somebody where they are, just in case. Because, you, you know, you're going for a date with a completely random stranger who might turn out to be that guy. So what can you do, men, to help stem the tide of toxic masculinity that gives rise to one in three women in the world being subjected to violence and rape and sexual assault and murder. Um, <clears throat> what you can do is if you hear another man saying something that condones hurting women or slapping women or even seemingly harmless stuff like saying that women talk too much, um, challenge it. Don't just sort of let it slide because the thing is, it's a known fact that um, the, the very small population, sorry, the very small percentage of the population that are serial rapists um, go around saying stuff like that in front of other men. And when they aren't challenged and they think, you know, when, and when they say something like, oh, she needed a slap or, or could give her one or grab them by the pussy or whatever, um, they think that other men agree with their toxic views. And this is what leads to a man going on a shooting rampage in Nova Scotia. This is what leads to some asshole deciding to shoot up a massage parlour where Asian women were innocently having a nice massage and ended up dead because a man shot them. This is what leads to a man thinking that it's perfectly okay for him to grab and rape and murder a young woman who was just walking home. This is what leads to that murder and rape and murder of a young woman on a bus in India. And so on and so on and so on. And there's been a huge rise in violence um, in male violence against women. Notice that we quite often fail to put the subject of the, that sentence in. It, you know, most of the violence against women is perpetrated by men. And when you think of all the, the trans women who've been murdered by men, that's toxic misogyny too. And toxic masculinity. Um, you know, the guy who drove a van through the streets of Toronto and mounted the curb and killed, I think it was 17 people because um, he felt that he was entitled to sex and he wasn't getting any. These are the attitudes that we need to challenge because this is what leads to this relentless tide of men murdering women. So if you hear these things, challenge them don't let it slide. Call out your fellow men and tell them that attitude is not acceptable. Because until all men 
call out violent toxic masculinity then we are justified in saying yes all men so please call it out if you hear it and let's stop femicide together thank you